first of all you would like to know what is the problem so already you know what is that incident what is the incident guys incident is nothing but something is broken into your business application or any customer are facing unexpected interruptions right any person facing the unexpected interruption that is called incident what is the problem what is the problem guys any idea about problem management application anybody idea about problem management if the incident is happening uh, keep on happening uh, during particular time so that is through that problem comes on the picture uh not uh, like that a uh, problem is completely different application uh, like uh, not like incident uh, incident application mainly use it to creating incident record when which they can use it any customer unfortunately what is the mean by unfortunate not expected suppose i can say example i'm the uh, internal employee i'm trying to connecting network through vpn but unfortunately unable to connecting means unexpected interruption that time customers can create instant record what is the problem same like that so i'm trying to connecting network through vpn same other people also other people remaining 10 to 15 people also facing same kind of issue unable to connecting network <coughs> through sorry office network through vpn all are facing same kind of issue right that is called problem right uh, when multiple people people are facing the same kind of issue so we need to consider as a problem ticket how can you identify so when we need to creating problem ticket who can create problem record in service platform right so based on that historical incident based on that historical incident the respect to itl based department can create a problem record all or else a respect to team manager problem manager can creating problem record just let me open paint for better understanding <laughs> it is not a paint just let me open that paint See, suppose uh, instant problem right so what is the problem ticket here problem nothing but when multiple customers so more than two or three or four whatever right see when multiple customers are facing same kind of issue that may be any issue that may be related to software hardware network anything right so when any customer created same kind of issue instant one two three four here we have five instant tickets facing by different users customer A, customer B, customer C, customer D, customer E, right? So when, what happened here, when multiple customers are facing the same issue, then what happened, guys, already you know, when any customer created incident record, automatically that ticket will be goes to which department? ITL based department. So always ITL based department, this need, need to, what, what is that, uh, uh, find out the historical incident. Why, why multiple people are going to face the same kind of issue? then immediately they have to create one problem ticket. So what is a problem ticket, guys? Problem ticket, nothing but this is associated to all the instant records. 
when multiple customers are facing same kind of issue immediately the respective department has to create a problem ticket problem nothing but multiple incidents a repeated kind of incident from multiple people then we are creating problem ticket now i am going to problem ticket right before going to problem ticket first you, you need to know so many things about problem right see uh, problem is nothing but multiple incident remember guys anybody asking the question what is the problem repeated kind of incidents or multiple people are facing same kind of issue we have to consider a problem ticket how to create a problem ticket before going to that so who can create the problem ticket based on that historical incident suppose they can start the incident with nothing but uh, so now uh, what happened the analytics department is going to apply the filter condition finally they found out in one week within one week they have faced so many problem right so multiple people are facing same and same kind of issue within one week within one week multiple people are facing same kind of issue immediately that they have to take, take the decision the itl based department have to inform to respect to department they have to get the problem ticket sometimes who can create the problem ticket itl based department managers problem manager and uh, application manager so these three people are responsible to creating problem ticket in my case i am going to create a problem ticket how to create a problem ticket there are multiple ways directly just click on the problem ticket manually you can create a problem ticket before going to the i can show you practically guys remember this time i'm going to explain how the problem management application is going to working in organization so remaining process is the same right you know how to configure process flow parameter how to design these all the fields right you know these all the things but my requirement is just i'm going to explain how the problem management application is going to working in service no platform okay let me create navigator to instant table first of all navigator to incident table now creating so many records first of all let me create a multiple incident records that may relate to same issue or uh, what is issue how can you define short description field can be defined in customer issue what i'm trying to do i'm going to creating so many issues belongs to same issue right let me create one more instant record we have to fill all
all mandatory fields while creating record. Guys, uh, try to understand what happened here. Just how we did uh, five incidents that may be related to the same issue, right? So, based on the customer issue, they're going to fill in short description value. What happened when any customer created a ticket? Obviously, that will be goes to address department. Now, address department, let us say example. Now, address department is logged into the platform. Anybody? Let's click on it. All records. Trying to apply there some condition. How many tickets are? created today just they're going to apply the condition so just so they want to know how many instant records are created today created right on created on today right created on today so today they have created so many like uh, they have created so many tickets uh, in the just demo data purpose it's understanding purpose i have created only four records but in the real time organization more than 100, 200, 300 people they can face in face, they can face the same kind of issue, creating a different incident, right? See, but what happened? Short description value is almost related to the same, right? If an issue facing critical VPN problem, VPN problem, facing network issue, right? This may all related to like a same issue. But what we can do immediately, the respective address department, they can inform to network department. Today, multiple people are facing same kind of issue or created number of tickets. Immediately, we have to resolve the issue. So now, again, I'm going to explain the how it is going to working in. So what happened, guys, here? So now I'm going to creating a problem ticket. How to get a problem ticket? Using my any existing record. There are multiple ways to creating problem ticket. Who can create a problem ticket? Problem manager. He is going to working on like a uh, working like a uh, ITL based department side and uh, application manager, ITL based IT, IT help desk manager. These these three people are responsible to, to create a problem ticket. Now, how to create problem ticket? There are multiple ways. One is a directly create a problem ticket to problem application, or else using by the existing instant record, we can be able to create a problem ticket. So, so go to the condition menu. Create a problem ticket. Yes, problem record was created. Problem records were created, right? Some data is going to capture automatically from incident management. So this is a like reference of incident record. Using my this incident record, I have created a problem ticket. Guys, now what I can do? This problem ticket is uh, belongs to some VPN problem, right? Now what they can do? Customers are going to like uh, what, what they can do this problem is related to only one instant record but uh this problem is related to many record right how can you add remaining records to the problem ticket so many instant records are associated to this problem ticket same issue right first of all we have to create a problem record might be directly get the problem record or it's using by the existing instant record we can be able to create a problem like a problem record yes successfully created a problem record how many instances are added to this problem record? Only one instance because using my this instant record, I have created a problem. Now, how can you add the remaining records? We call it add. Now I'm going to add remaining records to my problem ticket. Condition is created on today. Whatever condition you can apply it. So already one record is assigned to my problem record, right? Now I'm going to add in remaining records. How we did add one record to the problem using by the existing incident record, we have created a problem record. Now remaining incident records also we need to 
add your problem record. So it is going to be defined in this all the instant record associated or like referring problem ticket. So now select apply the condition. These other tickets are created itself today, right? And uh, just click on that add all. So now remaining four instant records also added to your problem ticket. This is the way how to add the problem like instant records to manually your problem ticket. Now what happened here? This all the instant record is going to refer to my problem ticket. So this problem management problem ticket nothing but four people are facing same kind of issue. But if you talk <clears throat> talk about a real time scenario, multiple multiple people nothing but almost more than 200, 300, 400 more than that. That time associated all the instant we can add it to the problem ticket. These all the incidents are associated to the respective problem ticket. Now what happened is see who is the responsible department for this one suppose basically this category belongs to network right network and uh, the ticket can assign to particular group right now what happened here first of all i can save the record it is a field read only how the customer select it Confident is say might be they made read only this field in problem management. Not here. Not applied through corporate history. And the assignment group might be decided over it. <clears throat> Already you know a activity if you want to feel make mandatory or read only. We can perform multiple ways in service now, might be very implemented. <clears throat> Dictionary override. I'm going to delete this one. In your case, so don't delete any like a uh, dictionary override, guys. Might be you are not applied, right? In this instance, already I have applied. Dictionary override. That's why it is going to apply. Okay. So click on that update. <clears throat> right. So LPS department again fulfill the remaining required details and uh, VPN. Then obviously the ticket can assign to a network department. This is a common process already, you know, right? And save the record. There is no SLA for the problem record not required. SLA is different for the test incident record, right? Uh, so now, respect to department people who is a responsibility working on that particular VPN connection, the person can assign a ticket himself from that window. Okay, but uh, what happened? Not, not available here. Now, very important thing is, see, we need to add the problem toss. This is a very, very important thing in problem management application. First of all, you would like to know what is the problem management application. Let me, let me. Let me talk about the problem management life cycle. See what is that life cycle of the problem management? Suppose when multiple people are facing same kind of issue, right? Then ITL best department can find out that why the multiple people are facing same kind of issue, they can immediately inform to respective department somebody will be creating problem ticket after that what happened guys here when any problem ticket was created by the respective people then who is going to working on the particular ticket suppose i can say i'm the developer developer nothing but i'm the responsible person to provide services on vpn almost a thousand people are facing same kind of problem vpn problem so what i can do actually automatically the seniors can assign the ticket himself and working on that ticket so what is the responsibility of Srinivas while fixing the issue in that root level, right? That person, every developer, they have to fix it and uh, root cause, right? So every developer, they have to find out the root cause analysis, nothing but uh, what does that mean by the root cause analysis? Anybody unable to connect in the VPN connection, they have to take it out root cause, root level, nothing but uh, might be the wire connection not working and DHCP not working, firewall is not allowing to connecting, might be there are so many things are there not allowing the people to correct the VPN. Every anybody, any developer, nothing, developer nothing but in this case, the respective people who is the responsibility working on issue or fix the issue. That time what they can do, they need to find out root cause analysis. 
that is the main keyword in problem management application so simply i can say i'm the developer this ticket is assigned to me not only single ticket 400 tickets are created same kind of problem so based on that historic incident the respective uh, address department they are creating a problem ticket the problem ticket is assigned to sinovas after that what happened the sinovas is a responsibility to find out the root cause analysis that is a very important keyword in problem ticket so what does i mean by root cause analysis they need to fix the issue in the root level right somebody facing the problem dhcp dns whatever like a firewall connection and where connection is cutting and whatever right so they have to find out the root cause analysis where the problem is getting exactly in the root level right they have to find out that root cause for that the respective developer have to uh, like a root cause done the root cause analysis and uh, find the file what happened in case of in case of the issue may be related to multiple tasks nothing but uh, what happened network is one department in that four numbers are going to working in the four numbers one people is working on the dns one people working on that dhcp one people working on that vpn one people working on that firewall but uh, somebody fix an issue that their level but everything is working fine everybody they have to fixing their issue in that root level for that what i can do so i can creating for problem task problem task nothing but might be sometimes what happen here root cause analysis so if you want to fix this fix this issue root level multiple people have to working on the ticket actually i am the expert in the dns you are expert in that firewall so i am able to work on the firewall right for that multiple problem task i am going to creating see these are the card, uh, copy automatically and uh, short description short description fix the issue issue dns problem and uh, submit and uh, i'm going to creating one more problem task also is all the problem task are assigned to multiple people one one is working on that dns Guys, remember this time. I'm going to explain how that problem management is going to working in real-time organization. How to use our application in solution platform. What happened? Actually, the customers are creating so many instant record. These instant records are completely related to different problem tasks, right? I think, but so if you fix that, so there is a, there are two types of uh, solutions. One is that temporary solution. One is that permanent solution. In case of uh, i am a developer i am a responsibility to providing the services to all the customers individually right in case as a developer if you providing the services to customers individually temporarily if you provide any solution as a temporarily what happen same kind of issue may be like uh, repeating in future also and uh, same kind of issue repeated by the other people also but when you create a very problem ticket it's a very critical on the business like it may impact on the high level business right so and any customer created a problem ticket the respective developer have to fix the issue as soon as possible that is the responsibility nothing but they have to find out root cause root cause analysis they need to fix the issue root level right in case of if you providing any solution temporarily might be the same kind of issue repeat in the future also from the same users and others and it will repeating on new users also what happened here any customer can an instant record so what is the responsibility of what is the like the respective department responsibility is they have to provide a solution to every user individually 
that is a very time taking process required more manpower but here what happened i have so respect to developer have to provide in the solution like root cause okay like find out the root cause and fix the issue i care and next one is click on that access and assign the ticket to might be these are before these are the users are coming from users are not coming why IP not submitted. Right. In case of the ticket is sent to this person, is responsibility working on the problem task. Right. And uh, next one is uh, multiple people are going to working on the this task. In case of this task are sent to Respective people. Finally, who is the responsibility to provide a solution to the other people? Seniors. So, not what happening is here. Very simple topic here. Very simple thing is when any customer created like multiple customers are facing same kind of issue, right? Based on the historical instance, res respective people will creating the problem ticket. In case of if you are selecting any business service, so what is the meaning of business service? In case of that application may be like related to any finance, right? SAP finance and accounting. The in, in, in this case, what we are thinking about the customer, so many customers are facing problem in this particular application. Now, what we can do, first of all, we need to know dependency view. This application based depends on that how many dependency application. I want to know that dependency view. Okay, right? So services not required, background, backdoor, back. Come back. Just click on that drawing windows. This is called dependency view, dependency map view. So what I'm trying to do say, a customer is facing the problem in each application. Basically, so many customers are facing the problem in SAP finance account application. Right? If you fix the issue directly in the SAP finance application. The issue is not resolved why right? because this application is depends on so many top down dependency view nothing but uh, one is a top view top application in that uh, so many dependency application that is called root cause analysis so multiple people are facing the same kind of issue that is in sap financial application account application directly if you fix the issue what happened that issue is not fixed in all the people but might be repeated right now for that uh, multiple applications are dependency right some so windows server web server ax server right so first of all what we can do one person a is a developer working on that windows server b developer working on the web server ax server working on that working by c developer right for that we can create in three sub tasks that is called problem task this problem task can be assigned to respective people who is responsible working on the ticket and what happened so they can Go to the problem ticket. Everybody can be able to open the problem ticket. One once they are fixed the issue in that their particular level, they can like uh, delete, like what what is that update the issue? What happened? And, and when they can close the problem, multiple problem task. Finally, we can close the problem task. But when you close the all problem task, nothing but the issue has been fixed. All the application level. Then immediately what we can do. Go to the problem ticket. We can close the ticket. When you close the ticket, automatically send the notification to respective people who is facing the same kind of issue. Only 
work around the people, communicating work around the people. Right? So this is a problem management is going to working in my service platform. But uh, just to explain how the problem management is going to working in my service platform. But here in this case, uh, not configure any form level design. Already you know how to design the any form. In case if you want to explore more into the problem management application, go to that problem management application is there in service platform. Problem management in service now. Problem management docs are available. You can follow the problem management application docs. Right, so in this case, uh, you can follow the documentation. So, service no problem management helps to identify the cause of an error in the IT infrastructure level reported as an occurrence of a related incidents. Right, same things they're repeated. Problem management is responsible for managing the life cycle of all problems and uh, prevent problem and uh, resulting incident from happening. So, you can follow the product documentation to better understanding right understand the problem management process the plugins that you activated by default the plugin activated and the problem management process you can follow the problem management process but if you want to explore more into that they can if you, you can follow that uh, eight minutes of video or something right here you can understand in that how the problem management is going to work in. investigating the update problems what is happening so they have to fix the issue, right? That's clear. That's clear problem management. Any queries? Let me ask. Let me ask anyone. That's any queries? Friend, Abhishek, Afrin, Ajay, Firoz, Madan, Sai, Prasad, Pavan, Sundar Anybody do you have queries? No, right? No questions, sir. Yeah, just to explain the problem management application. Already we discussed about incident management. Incident management is very important. Already we discussed, right? But problem management is is very small application. Uh, it is mainly using by the internal team. Internal team, nothing but operation departments. Okay. When any customers, any like when you creating any problem ticket. Uh, we need to working on that life cycle. Nothing but it can be defining. They have to fix the problem in root level. Okay. Next one is change management application. So very, very important application this one also. So what does it mean by the change guys? Change management application. What is the purpose of change management application? And uh, types of changes we can be able to create it. And why we can use change management application in your organization. Tell me guys, anybody idea about change management application? Anybody idea about change management application? The change management application is, it's a very important application in organization, mainly using by developers and a cab team, nothing but change advisory board. Change advisory board and a developer team, frequently they can use change management application in our business unit. What does that mean by the change? Change nothing but if you want to expecting any kind of new changes in 
your existing business application they have to follow chain management process suppose i can say i am the developer of sharepoint somebody developer of uh, cognos some other people developing on like a uh, developing the like a java application dot net c sharp any other application so every service node developer like uh, not only service node developer every application developer they have to follow in change management process while making any changes in existing application suppose i can say let's say example incident is one application in the incident application you want to add one more choice into category field how can you add the category field don't add the category field like don't add any category choice into directly in the production environment it's not a best practice in the organization in, in the organization the people are going to following agile development process so agile development process is different uh, like a completely different process like a different concept that is mainly using by all the developers and following by the managers in that uh, agile development process uh, we have a uh, different uh, sprints stories story nothing but piece of requirement and uh, whatever finally what i'm trying to say any developer while making the changes or any like any cap team they want to make the changes right let me open incident management application let me open incident management application when you click on the create new this is my incident management application category is one field in my incident management as per the client requirement anybody they want one more choice into category field how can you add it that is a requirement my client requirement is they want to add one more choice field into the category how can you add it so you have to process you need to follow the some some process in that your organization right don't directly add the any choice into production environment it's not a best practice every developer they have to follow in change management process so how they can follow it this application mainly using by cab team or development team cab na team but change advisory board right who can give the requirement in organization guys guys remember one thing who can give in like who can give or uh, business requirement in your organization every client side client clients are coordinate is going to working in their side those are called cab team change advisory team what is the responsibility of the team they can assign the tasks to respective department or provide in the like uh, requirement suppose my requirement my client requirement is they want to add one choice but people are thinking oh this is a very simple task i can be able to direct in the production environment right it's not a right way why because they have to follow in the change management process so how they can follow in the change management process say we have an application is change management right before going to creating any change management record first you would like to know how many types of changes in service na platform we have three types of changes what is that normal change standard standard change and emergency change this is a very important question in interview also how many types of changes in service now we have by default three types of changes one is a normal change second one is standard third one is emergency first of all we need to know difference between normal and standard emergency normal change nothing but any client given the requirement uh, created as a change record as a normal we need to give that uh, respect to time to implement it and uh, and uh, emergency also what happen emergency also right we need to implement the changes as soon as possible suppose any client creating change record that may related to emergency the respect to developer they have to implement as soon as possible in your business application okay right so what is the mean by the change guys application level changes that by anything else suppose in particular project and business unit multiple developers teams are going to work 
right any development team they have to follow the same process like a uh, change management if you want to make any kind of changes suppose if you want to have the one choice that is called a change if you want to remove the field that is called a change if you want to remove the any like a uh, button that is a change if you want to implementing any ui policy or data policy that is a change is all are nothing but a change in my there is no but other application side also they have to make some changes on the data application for that they have to use change management application the normal and standard emergency we have three types of changes now we need to know what is the difference between normal standard emergency the main difference between normal and emergency normal change based on the developer availability they can make the changes based on the scheduled time right and what is emergency so the client is expecting these changes as soon as possible into implementing and move to production environment and emergency normal change required cab approval what is the mean by the cab guys yes anybody following the cab process right now in the organization in your organization anybody following cab process yes sir was we are following so what is the mean by the cab what is the responsibility of the cab team change advisor will giving the uh, permissions to go ahead for the change implementation they will provide, raise the concern from their side also different from the different uh, teams yes okay sir th okay sir thank you see what i'm trying to say uh, every uh, suppose i can say my project is bench bench is business unit in bench project the multiple teams are going to working that may be sharepoint development team hacker development team dot net development team java development team and uh, other teams also like finally service now right but uh, my client is given the requirement that is they want to add a choice in service platform same like that other cap team other like other department people are so they will get the requirement from cap team cap nothing but change advisory board what is the responsibility of this department they can given the task or given the requirement to respect to development department so what they can do immediately immediately they cannot implement the changes on application in that they have to follow and certain procedures right what happened suppose i need to suppose i need to what, what i can do uh, i'm the cap team you are the developer i'm given the requirement to for the development department what is the development department responsibility initially first of all they need to analysis of the task can we fulfill client requirement or not that is called investigation and analysis and estimating and costing will be involved into the each changes first of all any, any client given the requirement to development team development team directly they are not going to implementing on the changes on either development or production or testing whatever not going to implement what is not the right process first of all they have to analysis of the requirement can we fulfill or not and if it is not fulfilling so what is the alternative way and we can be able to fulfill it so is there any impact on the business and is there any risk of the business we need to explain everything to cap department so then cap department team finally decided they given the permission to make the changes on the existing application so what happened if you uh, analysis of the requirement you were given to some information to the cap team so there is a lot of uh, risk lot of imp like uh, impact on the business so finally what they can do next time next thing next one is their choices is there a lot of risk and uh, what happened there is a lot of risk and a lot of impact on the business they cannot accept in the to make the changes on the business application they can put an onward status but because developer is is analysis of the like a task and they provide the information if you made these changes what happen if you make these changes what happen some maybe impact on the business right so they, this kind of analysis required from developer end so what is the difference between these three still both are the same same the problem like uh, uh, only one form but the main difference is when any customer the problem type is sorry change type is the change type is normal and emergency so we need to get the respect to development department have to get like uh, what is that permission or else approvals but standard is not required any cab approval what does that mean by standard change guys anybody idea about standard change standard anybody change idea? means like uh, there is a regular change only for yeah, example if you want to restart yeah. the services yes yes regular uh, there is a repeat kind of task given by the client suppose i can say uh, my service no client is given the requirement i want to add the 
they want to add one choices to your category field. After one month, they're given the same requirement. One more choice also they want to add it. After that, they want to add two, uh, they want to read, uh, remove two choices from category field. This all are nothing but repeated kind of changes, regular tasks. Nothing but already this particular task was implemented by the respective developer that time not required any cab approval. Why? Because no need to analysis. Already they implemented this kind of changes earlier. Now they need, they need no need to analysis of that particular changes, right? Directly they can be able to implement in without any cab approvals. That is called standard chain. Now I'm going to show that practically how it is going to work. Here. So first of all, any client that expecting the like changes on that even change management application also they can create new see what type of changes client want to creating normal change normal change nothing but my client is expecting based on that uh, developer schedule and availability and uh, standard change they know already th this kind of requirement is given to respect to department again we need to uh, like uh, mention it and emergency this particular change this wow. like particular change they want to See what happened here. Emergency change. My hand is going to be going to be normal change. We call that normal. Into creating normal change. And what is the client requirement? Please, please add a new. Right, see, please add a new choice to category in instant table. Right, in case of any client, they want to provide more details. So need to add more details any client they want to add a more discussion about your requirement they need to provide the more information on your requirement so go to discussion field you need to add new choice to instant category field so they're given that requirement very clearly choice equal to They're given the requirement very clearly, guys. Don't worry about the requirement. This is a description. And if you open that, uh, what happened, guys, here? So save the record, save the record, save the record. What happened? Any client, cab team is created the normal instant record. First of all, they need to send for request approval. So this particular department is assigned to whom with the responsibility work on this ticket, service node department, right? Service node development department. It is not there. So I'm going to set any department and what happened? So save the record again. So one other person with the responsibility working on the ticket, working on that instant record, the person can suppose you know the responsibility working on the instant management changes. So whatever friend lady, right? Now, what happened, guys? Here, what happened when any client created normal incident like a normal change record, automatically it will be sent to all the development department team in the development department how many members here five members so one of the person they have to requesting approve it how can you approve it so first of all yes we can approve it before going to approve it they have to fill all the required details see planning in the planning tab we have a different types are available a justification so why they're going to implementing these all the changes as for well, client requirement as for client requirement As for client requirement, I'm going to implement these changes. 
right? These changes. And the implementation plan, whatever implementation plan, so when we can implement, so we can implement, we can implement, implement, this change next week on the instance instance <laughs> and uh, my grant requirement is um, what is that just they need to other choices there is no risk there is no impact right no <coughs> risk no risk very simple task right just only at the like uh, try side no risk no impact on on business yes backward plan in case of that particular that particular change is not going to work properly can we able to back out yes we can be able to back out very simple you know that somebody update states will discuss later test plan it will move it will yes we have back out plan this plan works <coughs> not testing on this week so the guys uh, so this is our risk assessment i'm going to fill it out and uh, update the ticket so again what happened guys so now by default when you create any record when you creating any record by default uh, the change record status is obviously it's a new right so when you're requesting for approval automatically it will goes to which approval like a uh, team approvals they have to fill the remaining details they have to fill the remaining details and again same record will send to cap department why because cap department have to check it out all the details they have to approve it why because so as based on that uh, impact analysis everything all and when they are going to implementing right so they can approve it so automatically again it will goes to cap department approvals yes cap department open the record and directly first of all s yes, approve it david lu fill the recommended details and approve it i can do that approve nothing but i can do that and uh, remaining details and next one what we can do guys automatically add the or automatically add that some cap department team also one of the cap department team they have to approve it in what happen so cap department team open the record again and uh, there is no impact there is no impact and there is no like a risk the developer is saying that that's why I'm going to approve it to implement the changes on your application. Now schedule it. When the schedule state, what they can do, they can go to the schedule tab, and uh, I'm going to start a plan start date. The suggestion only, right? I'm going to start the changes on 23rd, 22nd, and it will be changes on coming on 30th of December. Okay, and. Uh, so what happened unfortunately unable to working on this particular dates because i'm very busy with that that's why i have completed this this was changes i have started this changes on 25th and end on that same time for understanding purpose right conflicts so conflicts not required then what we can do conflicts nothing but a see in case of change, change same kind of changes already implemented right then you can be able to find out the conflicts but there is no conflict right now and uh, now just click on that fill it out implement it so what are the implementation guys here so when that implementation state the customer go, developer goes to instant table customer goes to instant table requirement is going to implement on incident management application requirement they have to implement that category right category they have to add the category marketing how to add the choice you know right how to choices
marketing. And now we're very close. Okay. Next one is again the developer navigated to change management application. What they can do? Open that all records. My record is new joyred. I can open this record. They have to update the change record. So I have done some changes on incident management. Right now. Successfully, I have changed. Go to the notes. Notes is a common for all application, right? You know, note. Notes is a common application. I have made changes in the instance. Now moving to moving to testing. Right, and I click on it post. So then click on review. Now my record is reviewed. What is review should not review should be defining so that 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 changes that that those changes are in testing environment. So and finally that that what what happened here? The client will be checking that the cap team is who is given the requirement. The buster can check it out successfully. The choice are added or not? Yes, added or added successfully. You can review that. What they can do is. Yes. Looks good. Please close the <coughs> more changes. More changes to production and close the ticket. Then we can say so update the ticket, right? See what happened. We are moving the changes. Customer point of view, they can update the ticket. And uh, before going to close it, they have to fill some closure confirmation. What is the closure information? Successfully, I have changes are done. The same. I can update the ticket and close the ticket. Uh, okay, clear guys. So this is about the change management application. So just I'm going to explain how the change management problem management is going to working in my incident application. Oh, sorry, my my Alex uh, like platform. So in that we have different status, right? Uh, now I'm going to creating one more joint change record. That is standard change. What happened? Just observe it. So some default standard changes are available here. How to add the one more standard changes to your like uh, here, right? Already they have added some standard changes and replace printer toner. This kind of repeated uh, kind of standard changes and when you click on submit it 005. So when you submit it directly open the record what happened guys here. So directly there is no access there is no other race not required any approvals from development team and uh, and the cap team directly the developer can be able to make it schedule. So when they want to approve it like when we want to make the changes. Not asking any approval, right? There is nothing but so while making like uh, when any customer or cap team created standard change record, no need to no need to get the any approval from the cap department. Directly the developer can be able to implement the changes. Not only service now, like other uh, operation departments, they, they no need to waiting for the cap approval. Directly we can make the changes on respect to application. And the remaining is the same. So when they're going to implement the changes on Development click on that, that that this implementation can be defining the changes are going to happen in development instance. That mentions right same like that. The changes are more testing one. The state can be defined, it's a review state. And when you get the confirmation from the cap team, then you can close the ticket. Right, guys. So there is a main difference between normal and emergency. Emergency, nothing but suppose I can say I'm the developer. I have a so five task. In that uh, four are the normal task, one is emergency. First of all, you can uh, like uh, you can say that a four task remaining. These are the these, these four tasks are belongs to normal. One is belongs to what is that emergency? A developer first of all they need to working on that emergency chain. Why? Because as per the customer requirement or client requirement, the respective developer have to implement the changes immediately on the respective application. 
that is called emergency change that is the main difference between emergency and normal clear guys